just finished cleaning about a half hour ago, an hour ago. Still filtering the water. But she seems pretty excited. Always try to rearrange things a little bit in there for her. So it's a little different each month or so when I do this. This was about an 80% full clean. I had two little filtration systems. I had this one back there. And I put up a decent job oxygenating the water behind that my little heater. And then there's this little kind of rainforest thing. Um, and so it's got some like sponge-like filtration material up in the top over there. So I have uh, three different layered sponges up there. Super easy to really make. Um, and then it kind of pumps through here. There's actually some medium inside these two kind of end towers, but without this wall kind of being there, I don't think those really do much. But what I do is I leave those filters in there to leave the original bacteria and stuff that's in the water from before. So there's always something almost always something in remaining from an old change um, to help you set the water. I think that helps. And, uh, yeah. A couple snails in there. We've lost a few over the past year. This tank setup is about a year old. Um, so, yeah, clean it every four to six weeks pretty thoroughly. Um, then, like, every four to five months I really get crazy with there and just take everything out and just really clean it. Uh, it sits in our living room so I like to make sure it stays looking clean and stuff like that. Plus we have kids over all the time. We got little kids. So, yeah. Yeah, and that little uh, painted red eared slider right there is a Shelly. And we believe she's about 15 months old now. Show, show.